A $7 million grant is helping Wayne State researchers study the benefits of cannabis use among military veterans. The university is now actively recruiting vets in Metro Detroit to determine whether THC and CBD can be useful as mental health treatments. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass explains how the project will work and what some veterans who use cannabis have to say about it. CBD and THC. Veterans who use these products say they work for a number of physical and mental ailments, but where's the data? Wayne State University says they hope to provide it. On any given Friday night, you find a variety of people inside Greenhouse Dispensary in Wall Lake, including veterans like Terry Marshall. 1964, Vietnam. Wasn't a fun time, but it was a time. Marshall is a loyal customer, now employee, using cannabis for medical reasons. In my later years now, I use it more to help me cope with things, especially a little bit of pain that I acquired over the years. Army veteran Todd Hopper does the same. I don't eat these every day. You know, I just eat them. I know when I need them. I know when I'm going to be restless. So I eat a couple little pills, uh, and they work for me. Besides just physical pain, veterans sometimes use cannabis to treat PTSD. But the VA doesn't recommend it, saying current research doesn't support it. Public opinion has really outpaced science in terms of cannabinoid therapeutics. That's why Dr. Leslie Lundahl and her team at Wayne State University are launching a new study to find out whether CBD and THC can help with PTSD. Specifically, we're looking at PTSD symptom severity and then frequency and severity of suicidal thoughts or behaviors. They'll use different doses with different studies working to enlist the help of 350 veterans using Michigan cannabis from Red Bud Roots. To me, the biggest thing is the ability to talk about cannabis and veterans in the same sentence. Uh, five years ago, you couldn't even talk about or mention if you used it. And now, fast forward, you have some of the largest institutions in the state of Michigan studying its impact on mental health. Dr. Lundahl says it's unclear what conclusion the study might reach, but veterans who do use cannabis expect positive results. I think it would help with a lot of it. They just got to do a little more research. And that's what this is about. We're going to follow the data, yeah. right? I, I think there's probably going to be some benefit to some of these cannabinoids. I don't know for sure. Now, this grant money actually comes from the sale of cannabis here in the state of Michigan. The University of Michigan also received some grant money totaling more than $7 million. I'm Brad Cast, 7 Action News. A report from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs found more than 6,400 veterans died by suicide in 2018. That's more than 17 suicides a day. If you or someone you know is interested in joining the study from Wayne State, we do have a link to apply on WXYZ.com.